Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, do I really even need women? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because the short answer is no, as you probably could have already guessed from the title of this video. And to make sure you never miss out on simple answers such as this or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here or down there or anywhere on this channel. So a bunch of you are probably sitting there and be like, yeah, we need women, we need women to carry our babies and shit. So fine, yeah, you cannot push a baby out of your peen yourself. I would be very impressed if any of you even tried. However, you don't really need to be in a relationship with a woman in order to get a baby. Fine, we're all wired for connection, yes. We're all wired for desire, yes. But it really all came from the fact that back in the caveman days, the people that were able to better connect with one another were more prone to survival. You know, if you had like a long guy out and about with no friends and no family, then yes, the T-Rex would be like, look at that guy, he has no protection. Which is the only reason we're really wired to have to connect with anybody. Our bodies just don't know that we're not in the caveman days anymore. And we're really only wired to wanna F somebody else to further our generations. And again, we are wired to connect with a significant other because it would be better if mom and dad got along in order to keep those kids alive, so to speak. But our bodies do not know that we are in modern times right now and we don't need each other to protect us from T-Rexes. We don't need each other to have babies. We don't even need each other to take care of those babies. So no, you don't need women for anything really. But Jessica, what about love? Okay, here's the thing. Yes, I very much do believe that love is something natural we're all inclined to do. I do believe that love is the greatest thing on earth, but here's the thing. Love is not wanting. Love is not needing. Love in and of itself is giving. In fact, it's giving without expecting anything in return. Literally, when you truly love something, you don't motherfucking want anything in return or expect it or wait around for it and say, well, you know what? I did all this for you. So like, this is what you have to give me back. Or even, you know what? I like bought all this shit for you and you like don't put out ever. Hmm. So if you're in a state of like, oh, I don't get it. Like I did all these nice things for her. Like, uh, why won't she like come back around and like sit on my bean? If you really feel like you need her to reciprocate that badly, you need to take a look at yourself and why you feel that need. Because any need, desire, um, expectation, urgency, or desperation, any of that stuff comes from a place of pain. It comes from a place of disconnect, and it comes from a place of lack. All of which is 100% of the time most likely tied back to your primary attached relationship which is the one you have with your parents. Which is why most people don't wanna fucking go to therapy because they don't wanna hear that it has to do with your parents. Because going back to what I've been saying all along is you don't actually need women. In fact, these days we don't even need each other at all. We don't need you. We could take care of our children of our own. We can get sperm donors. You guys can get egg donors. You can get nannies. If you really wanna further your generations, you can go to a sperm bank and request that all your little babies <laughs> contact you at some point. We don't need each other. However, yes, love is a very beautiful thing and it's not a bad thing to want. However, I already said however like 12 times. However, if you want a woman, then go fucking get her without any expectation. Because the second you need her is the second you take from her. And the second you take from her is the second she's going to feel lessened in some way by your presence. Whether it's lessened in energy, time, uh, self-love, sense of self. So if you are gonna go out there and be with women, look for love, look for relationships, really take a look at why you're doing it. I always like to say the whys know why. Because once you know your why, you'll find out what kind of women you're gonna get and what kind of relationship you're gonna be in. And it all boils down to any issues you come across along the way will be completely your 
responsibility and under your control to fix them if you need to. So no, you don't need to listen to any of my fucking advice. You don't need to follow any of my tips and tricks. You don't need women. But what you do need to do is take a fucking look at yourself and ask yourself why you think you do. And the second you don't need women anymore is the second that we women will flock to your place to get to pound down. So if you know that you're in a state of urgency or desperation or frustration and you don't want to be because I always say how you feel about yourself is contagious in regards to letting women know how they should feel about you. Don't forget to check out my Speak to Spark Arousal program which outlines all this stuff, how to get rid of this sense of lack and urgency and desperation to show women what you can give without having to give too much without getting in return. So again, that's Speak to Spark Arousal. Take a look at why you think you need women because you don't. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.